went to in the Ron March, Ron March show. We have a special guest today. Uh, we're going to uh, start with our news. And you got to bear with us. We got a whole lot of hookup here, about four computers. But we're doing the blog talk radio. And we're doing the WebEx. And we're also doing Ron March Live. So you can go to the blog talk, the telephone number, area code 718-506-1864. 718-506-1864. Now, for uh, the blog talk, you have uh, Beverly D. on online. And we're looking for Texas to be online. Beverly, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. You want to give your number for them to call in uh, on your block? Okay. You can call. The number uh, here is 347-215-8041. Right on. 347 347- Two one five eight zero four one. Now, a cheer. Are you there? I don't hear her. So we're going to start up, and I'm going back to the blog, and we'll be waiting on uh, uh, Jonah Bay. Now, I I I just met Jonah Bay. The brother is very very enlightening. He has a lot of inside information. And you know me, if you got something that's going to have a remedy immediately to our situations and our problems and our conditions, I'm going to try to do what I can to get you to bring it in. Now, Jonah is out of uh, 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 Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, he's very knowledgeable on on the remedies. I see him calling now. Oh. Yes, brother. Joe? Remember, we got a conversation that happened at 4 All right. I'm waiting on you to call in. Let me give you the number. 7 1. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. I thought we were on board with that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, but I that's where I'm on every Saturday at four o'clock. So I was coming from that base. So we're just going to tap at uh, the uh, trust a little bit. Maybe you can stay with us a, a half hour, maybe 45 minutes, or the time is yours, as long as you want to stay. All right. So as soon all right, beautiful. All right, good people. Uh, we're going to have that brother call in. And once we get him in, we're going to bring him right up, turn on his mic, and we'll go from there. Uh, Bev, are you still on board? Yes, we're here. All right. Now, if you have any questions, uh, this brother is very heavy. Now, we can listen to him, and then we'll open the lines. And when we do, we want you to ask your question and hang up so that we can get the answer and get other calls in. But we're going to see how many calls we get. Here we go. We got someone there. Hold on. It, it make sure I'm doing this right. All right. Brother jo- Jonah Bay. Are you, yes. How are you, Ron? How are you? Today? I'm very good, sir. I'm very good. And we have Beverly D. on the line with her block. And I was I trying talk- to get Texas. Oh. Okay. And I was trying to hook up Texas, but she hasn't called in yet, so I'm not sure uh, what she'll do. But uh, I wanted to, and when I was talking with you uh, yesterday, we have a lot of questions in Detroit about the trust. And I know you have a Mm -hmm. multitude of information. So let us open it up to you, and you just lay out, and then we'll open the lines and see if we have any questions, and we can go from there, if that's uh, all right with you. Yes, that's that's, that's perfectly fine. What, right. what I want people to know is I'm not I'm not giving my opinion on this. I I actually got it from the so-called powers that be, the federal government. 
So I want people to put in their Google search bar, put 21.7.13. And when they put that in their Google search bar, what's going to come up is Internal Revenue Manual 21.7.13, and it's called Assigning Employer Identification Numbers. Okay. So we're going to put that in our Google box. Mm-hmm. 21, mm-hmm. point, 21 uh, period, point 7.13. Point 13. All right. There we go. And uh, we're searching. I'm searching right now. Uh-huh. And it should be yep. right at the top when it comes okay. up. Okay. When it comes up. All right. How Tell long you have you been? been? The first, there we second, go. third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I I, I I got it. Studying? Yes. All right. Oh All right. my God. Uh, I had first started studying uh, 25 years ago with Doctor York, and that's where I learned all my spirituality. And I've been studying right. the law aspects and the Moorish aspects for 10 years. Okay. And Doctor York was right down there in your in your neighborhood, correct? Wasn't he yes, in a, yes. a, a town down there? Off we started off in New York. We started off in New York. I, I became studying under him when I lived in New York, and he was in Brooklyn, New York, and then he moved to Georgia. Oh, okay. And uh, okay. I moved down to Georgia as well. All right. Okay. Uh, I, I tapped on to the first one, and here it is. It came up. Now, mm-hmm. we're in, we're now, in your I'm hands. Show you what, 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 wait, Ron. Y'all, 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 y'all got to wait on me. I'm a little slow here. Uh, you said oh, 217.13. Is that what you said? 21.7.1. Oh, I missed it. Okay, that's yeah. why. Okay, I got it. All right. All right. Okay. Babe, we're going to get you a. F- All right. Go, <laughs> go ahead, Joni. All right, I'm go, I'm I'm um scrolling down to get to the important parts of it. I haven't done this in a long time, Rod. Right? Wow, wow. <laughs> That's, I was teaching on this about three years ago, but we're going to make it work. All, All right. right. I want you to go down to the part that says 21.7.13.2.4. It's about a quarter of the way down. You're going to see, it says how an EIN is assigned. All right. Okay. Nope. 21.7.13.4. 2.2.4. 2.2. All right. I got it. All right. I got it. Update title. Edit. No, that couldn't be. Nope. Nope. It's called. how an EIN is assigned. Oh, let me get serious here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Me... All the stuff we deal with, you got to learn how to navigate these books. These books are yes. a pain in the butt to navigate, too. Yeah. That's what yeah. people yeah. don't know. When we was in the Michigan, uh... okay, you say, Ms. Bell? I said, this is what people don't know how to do. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, we're gonna we're gonna walk our way through it uh, today. And, right. Uh, we're gonna take our time and walk our way through it. Now right. I don't see now, a point four. Do you see a point four, Ron? Yes, but it's not what he 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 said it would be. Now let me ask you: Are we still in this uh, formula boxes? Or are we gonna go below that? How far down should we sc- stroll to find this? It's about. It's about a quarter of the way down. If you see the bar on the right-hand side of your computer, you want to take it a quarter of the way down. Okay. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. And let me make sure. Uh, 2.4. Yeah, because it's a lot. It's it's a quite a bit. It's a lot I got there. It. It's a lot there. Yes. Yeah, all right. I got, I got it. I got it. It's... Let me give it to you. Two two one point seven point thirteen point two point four. The EIN yep. how to how an EIN yep. is assigned. Yep. 
All right, Bev. Yep, that's it, my brother. Uh, all right, <laughs> Bev, did you find it? Uh, no. I'm at all right. Two, uh, Keep going down. Seven. Well, wait a minute. For one thing, where, where did I – okay, I'm on Bing. Are you on Google or Bing search? Google. you got to go into Google. Okay, you got to do the same search that. engine because, yes, each okay. search engine will give you a different result. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll and, go and, ahead. I'll catch up with y'all. I'm going right. to. Uh, and mine is highlighted. Mine, mine is highlighted with yellow. I'm looking mm-hmm. at it. It's, it's highlighted. Okay. okay. And it says 10 point, so, one point two. Yep, go ahead. I got you. I'm listening. The first thing I want you to notice is underneath, you see where all of that graph is? Yes. Campus and EIN. Uh, prefixes. Prefixes. Yes. Did you notice that they have those EINs set up in a, such a way that you could see across? Yes. Yes. Across the top, and then and, near the bottom, there's uh-huh. another one. Yes. A, uh-huh. a Brook. Isn't that interesting. Yes. Brook Haven, and then uh, uh, I forgot the other. They moved it. Uh, hold on. Go ahead. Keep going. All right. So let's find out what's going on. We're going to read this a little bit. I'm going to start at one. The EON Research and Assignment System is used to establish an EIN account for an entity. The account is established using the CCE sign and is stored on the entity section of the business master file. Note. Records for employee plans are stored on both BMF and EPMF. The system assigns a nine-digit EIN in the format of NN dash NNNNNN. The first two digits of the EIN prefix are determined by the campus of record assigning the EIN. Unless the taxpayer is applying for over the internet or through a small business association, refer to the table below for details. So now they have the campus, and they tell you each campus that gives you the first two numbers in the EIN. Now, yes. Andover gives you 10 and 12. Atlanta gives you 60 and 67. Austin gives you 50 and 53. Brookhaven gives you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11, 13, 14, 16, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, I mean 25, 34, 51, 52, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 65. Cincinnati okay. gives you 30, 32, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 61. Fresno gives you 15 and 24. Kansas City gives you 40. And 44. Memphis gives you 94 and 95. Ogden gives you 80 and 90. Now, Philadelphia campus. This is the main one for you more. And notice that Philadelphia campus got the most EINs. Yes. Right? So Philadelphia gives you 33, 39, 41, 42, 43, 48. 62, 63, 64, 66, 68, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 91, 92, 93, 98, and 99. Now, the yes. Internet. The Internet gives you 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 26, 27, 45, 46, and 47. Small Business Association Administration gives you 31. Don't worry. I'm going to make you all understand what's, what with all these EINs. Now, okay. I want you to read number three. It says six and seven million series EINs are reserved for trusts, estates, and non-exempt organizations under the 
Tax and Equity Fiscal Responsibility Act, called TEFRA. Six and seven series EINs can be identified by the number six or seven immediately following the dash, all right? So if you have a six or a seven after the dash of an EIN, you know that it is exempt from taxes. Right? You have a dash. Yes. The, num- the, the main number that they're giving you out of Philadelphia, if you do this correct, is a 9-8 number, EIN. The 9-8 EIN is called a foreign EIN. It is totally foreign to the United States of America Corporation under the Act of 1871. Oh. So, and I wonder, wonder why 1871. Let me say, let me say this. Yes. 1871 is when they formed this fictitious corporation. Well, it's not really fictitious. That was where they organized the corporation called United States of America, which is a municipal corporation. Yes. Yes. Right? Now, yes. we all are familiar with the Bible. The Bible told us you could not buy, sell, or trade without the mark of the beast. Right? Now, yes. everyone knows that mark of the beast to be what? The Social Security number. Okay. Right? And yep. that's how they're tracking people, through the social. All right? There's a number, another number in Revelations called the mark of the 144,000 that's yeah. supposed to bring heaven upon earth. Now, that number is the number 98, which is under what we call the Security Exchange Commission. Your 98 EIN is exempt from all taxes and everything else. Mm-hmm. And it's under Rule 144A of the Security Exchange Commission. That's what that number's under. Now, the problem is Noble Drew Ali has always said, stop doing business in your old name Take on a new name and do business in your new name. He was telling you, get your Moorish national name and do business in your Moorish national name. The problem with people, when they get their Moorish national name, it does not have a number so that it can do business. In other words, you have your Moorish national name, and let's say you have your car and it's paid for. You want to transfer that car into your Moorish national name, you're not going to be able to do it because the Moorish national name has no identifying number. Wow. Yes. I just did So the whole key to your Moorish national name, being able to hold and, and trade property and to do business is you have to get a number for it. And the number that you want to get for it is called a 9-8-E-I-N. Now, let me say this. Yes. Let me say this. I have cars in my Moorish national name. I have all types, everything that my straw man used to own, my Moorish national name owns because I transferred it to my Moorish national name. Wow. Which makes it into a private family trust. And you already know, Ron, because you've been teaching it, they can't mess with the the family trust. Correct. Because it wasn't organized under the United States. So I'm simply trying to show y'all how to do what you were already talking about for them to do. Wow. So I was not – go ahead, go ahead, Beth. So just say that you already have a corporation. Uh, you can – Take, yes. You already have an EIN number, so you can go yes. in and change that number to your new, your 98 EIN number? Okay. Let me, let me explain the process of getting a corporation. When you go to get a corporation, you have to do what is called Articles of Incorporation, of Articles of Association. You have those drawn up. You sign them. You get them notarized, and then you take them to the Secretary of State, right? Yes, yes. And then you have to give that document to the Secretary of State. The Secretary of State keeps that document and then gives you 
some paperwork saying that you it's been incorporated and you're the secretary. Did you see what just happened? You went from being the owner of that corporation to a mere secretary or president. The oh, state became it. the owner because yes. they kept your original foundational paperwork. Correct. So that's when you gave it to them. You gave it to them. They became the owners when you did that. This is why you're not supposed to incorporate. You're supposed to have a trust where you maintain ownership. So let me say this. Let me say this. This is it's something that they don't like to tell y'all how to do. You're supposed to do a DBA for that corporation. The DBA is done on the county level. Even though you incorporated on the state, you have to do a DBA on the county level. The DBA is the registration of the corporation. It would be like you putting your uh, brand on a cattle. So you need to put your brand on that corporation, and you do that on the county level. On the county level, you do the DBA, and they register who's the owner of that corporation. Correct. I, so I've had you go DBAs. Down on, and do, yes, you go down to the county, you do a DBA, and the way I did mine is, let's say the company is called, <laughs> I'm going to be funny right now, Big Booty. Big All Booty right. is the name of the corporation. So All right. I'm going to do a DBA saying that Jonah John Bay is doing business as Big Booty. So Jonah John Bay is the owner of that corporation. Now, if you follow what your state constitution says to do, if you, let's say your corporation is teaching the public or your corporation is involving some type of religious rights that it's doing for the public, well, according to the state's constitution, uh, a school doesn't pay taxes. Correct. According to the constitution, religion don't pay taxes. Correct. So therefore, you have no need to ever do a 501c3 or a 501a or anything else because you're already tax exempt by the Constitution. So what I'm trying to say is when you're doing business, you're supposed to be doing business under your religious precepts of your ancestors instead of going to do business with man as a corporation. Well... Jonah, Scott, you got to back up and go back to walking okay. into your walking into a, a D, to get your DBA. Now, if you say doing yeah. business as, now I can understand doing business as Jonah <laughs> Bay, but but what's the name of your trust? The, the trust that's is what I'm saying. What? Let's say the, the the trust was called oh, yeah. Big Booty. Big Booty. Trust Big, oh, yeah. called Big Booty. And, yes. and Jonah Bay yes. is doing business as Big Booty because I'm going to do some spiritual work to teach women how to get rid of the, the Big Booty. All right. I'm going to be doing... No, uh, we don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let's change the name. Right. Stop. So Let's doing work on teaching women how to get the Big Booty. Oh, <laughs> You you getting ready to get whipped as soon as you come out of there, brother. Let's let's back up. Let's get let's start another corporation. I'm gonna change the name of that trust. I'm change the name of that trust. I don't like where this is going. Boy, that's cool. All right, let's start all over. Give me another name. Sunshine Valley. There you go. Sunshine okay. Valley. That's good. One. Sunshine Valley. Yes. All right. I'm going to name the trust Sunshine Valley. I went and got a 98 number for it. I yep. got the trust with the – I got the EIN for it. Now I'm going to register the trust at the county. I'm going to go down and say Jonah John Bay is now going to do business at Sunshine Valley, and Sunshine Valley is we're going to set up communities for Moorish inhabitants. Now, wow. wait, Jonah, Jonah. When I went down to the county, they told me I didn't need to register because I was already registered at the at the state level. You're talking about your straw man's name, right? Yeah. yeah. And she's also talking about not a 98 number. Once no. she got her EIN, it was on the right. state mm -hmm. level right. when mm -hmm. she got the EIN. Right. So this that's is what I was trying to tell you, Beth. 
you do not need to go to the state. When you go to ah. the state, you're giving the whole course and horse and carriage away. Yes. I'm telling you, don't take your business to the state. Take it down to the county. To the county. Okay. Wow. Where did Noble Juar Lee register the trust? Cook County. Down at the county. He ain't never took nothing to the state. Sure did. Never mention it. Never mention right. Illinois and any of your stuff. Remember yeah. when Ron was breaking down to you how y'all was supposed to register y'all stuff down at the county at the grant deed department? This is what I'm telling Did you know where you do a DBA is right there at the same place that the deeds yes. are recorded? Yes. I'm trying it to is. give y'all back the knowledge of what our ancestors used to do. The control. I'll g- let me give you a, a, an analogy. Maybe the, <clears throat> this analogy can clear it up a little more. Before 1933, people owned farms, right? Yes. So let's say on your farm you are a cattle farmer. You got cattle, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's say a big storm blows through and blows down the fence. Okay. Your farm and all your cattle then got out and your cattle was over in the neighbors' yards and farms and everything, right? Yes. How are you going to get your cattle back? Uh, I'm going to tell you how brand- you're going to get your cattle back. Should be branded. It has to be branded. Yes. You were supposed to before you started your farm. You were supposed to get a blacksmith to make a brand for you. And after he made the brand, he gave you serial numbers on your brand. And Mm. he also gave you paperwork that he created it for you. Now, you're supposed to take that brand down to the county and register it as you being the owner of that brand. Mm. Why? Because now when your cows are born, yes, it's called a trademark. Right? Correct. Now yes. that your cows are born, you brand each cattle with your brand. So now you go to collect your uh, cattle from all your neighbors, and let's say you're always going to have one thieving neighbor, right? Yes. Well, that thieving neighbor, what he did was he went in his garage and created a brand that looks just like yours, right? Correct. So he's going to tell a- you, this cow ain't yours. This cow is mine. Here's my brand. And you show him his brand. You know what's going to stop it? You're going to call the sheriff. The sheriff's going to come, and you're going to show the sheriff your paperwork that you filed down at the county with the county's official seals of when you got that brand. Correct. Now, your Stephen neighbor don't have no paperwork to prove that he had that name first. So you know what the sheriff's going to do? Collect your cattle and say to that man, if you have any disputes, take it to court. Mm-hmm. I hear you. And you get your cattle back, right? Mm-hmm. So yes. this is what's been going on with all the property that y'all have. It's not branded. There is no owner. Because the wow. straw man is a trust. And you never claimed that trust, that you was the owner of that trust, and you can't claim it in in the straw man's name. You got to claim that the the Morris National name owns that straw man, and that's how you put the brand on that straw man. <clears throat> and now, it what, so, what, go ahead. Yes, it go sounds ahead. so simple. It sounds so simple, and I've been down and simple? I've done it. Yes, but I've done it wrong so much that it's confusing trying to kick that out of my brain so I can look at it from your perspective of what to do. Because I'm concerned now about getting the 98 number. Now, I know you can't do it. Mm -hmm. You have to do it over the telephone or you have to go down. How can you get the 98? You have to do it over the phone. Okay. No, I'm asking. That's a question. Right, I'm about okay. to show you. We're on. We're inside the IRS manual, aren't we? They yes. have instructions on how to do it. So now I'm going to show you what they say. This ain't what the owner says. Okay. All right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> this brother. This brother rough. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Damn. All right, I'm looking All right. for it. Give me a second. All right. Give me a second. Wow. Oof. And I'm going to show you a graph. First, I want you to go down to 21, 
point seven, point thirteen, point three, point two, point seven. And this is directly in the middle. So you want to look at that graph on the right-hand side and go towards the middle to find it. And it's going to be called Foreign Entities, Definitions, and Instructions. Okay. Uh, let me see. All the way down halfway, and the number is... Halfway. Uh, yep. And we're looking for... Uh, twenty-one seven thirteen point three. Uh, what 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 was the last numbers? Mm -hmm. Point three point two point seven. Okay, all right, I got it. Oh. Found it already. Oh, yeah. Damn, Ron, you getting good at this shit? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you getting good at navigating, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you sent me on a trip. I told you about last time, brother. Okay, now yeah. y'all for, for for me for the female here. Tell me the last. I'm I'm here, but uh, I'm at uh, twenty-one point seven point. Huh? Twenty-one point twenty-one point seven point thirteen. partnership which is not domestic 
They don't even want to tell you how to do it. They just say it's not domestic. Correct. <laughs> Damn. Right? So yes. that's where you want to be. But here's the thing. Domestic trust. This is what your social security number is up under. And this hmm. is a problem. Because let's listen to what they do to domestic trust. The term domestic trust means a trust in which a court within the United States is able to exercise primary supervision over the administration of the trust. And one or more U.S. persons have the authority to control all substantial decisions of the trust. Wow. That means this is the reason why people are losing in court. They can control everything your straw mans do as long as you leave it as a domestic trust. Wow. This is why I'm going to show you all how to make it foreign because what you're going to do is get the 9-8 for your Moorish national name and make your Moorish national name own that trust, and it, then it becomes foreign to the United yes. States. Yes. They control That's, anything that they created, they control. So they you control. have to change it where they didn't create it. They don't own it. If they don't own it, they can't tell you what to do. You don't have to believe me because now mm-hmm. we're going to read the definition of foreign trust. The right. term foreign trust means any trust other than the domestic trust described above. So let's review that. They say a foreign trust is opposite of a domestic trust. So if they can control what happens with a domestic trust, they can't control yeah, what happens with a foreign trust. They cannot control a foreign if the trust. Court can, right. If the court can control a domestic trust, the court cannot control a foreign trust. Foreign trust. You wow. see? Yes. Yes. So you have to make yourself foreign to the corporation. So... What most people be doing is I do a, a affidavit of corporate denial and all that. None of that is making it foreign. Wow. You got to get that to go to the foreign side. Yes. 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 Now let's read on. Number five, use the table below when processing requests for international EIN received by mail or fax or phone to determine whether the entity is foreign. Therefore, will be assigned the P698 by the Cincinnati or Ogden campus. So this graph tells you how to get a 98 number. All right, slow down. What about what about foreign estate? You skip that. That's not important at this time. I skip that because I do do the estate, but most people ain't ready for it, so I skip right, it. But we'll go it. over it. Forget it. Forget it. Go, no, don't confuse me. Keep me in first grade. I'll tell you when I'm ready for the second grade. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of people that do the executor thing, but for me, trying not to confuse people, I skip Thank, thank you. Go well, to number we'll five. We'll go back to it at a later date. All right. We'll we'll, we'll have you right. back in a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you brother, man, brother. All it right, go ahead. Number five. That long. No, no. All right. All right. You use the table below to determine mm-hmm. how, if you get a nine eight or not. So it says if a corporation is a limited liability company. It indicates on line 9B that it was incorporated in a foreign country. So if you're doing an SS4 and you say on line 9B you did it in a foreign country, then assign a 98 pre- prefix. That means you get a 98 number. Yes. Right? If yes. you say you're from foreign. Now, I automatically, when y'all do the SS4s, I make sure y'all say y'all <laughs> are coming out of a foreign country. But Correct. make sure they give you a 9-8. We mm. follow the instructions, you see? Yes. Now it says a corporation or limited liability company indicates on line 9B that it was incorporated in the United States but provides a foreign mailing address, then assign a regular series EIN for applications received over the phone dedicated to the EIN on it. So if you 
say you was done in the United States but gives them a foreign address, you yep. still are going to get a regular EIN. You don't want to oh. do that. Wow. You see? You want to oh, say wow. that it was formed in a foreign country, and you want to give it a foreign address. But, but then question. you give them a mailing you're going to do care of mailing address. You will do a domestic mailing address. Why? Because if they mail you anything, you can get your mail, but it still was created outside the United States. Go over that again. Go over that again. In other words, we're going to hit uh, 9B to establish a foreign country, and we're going to incorporate under under the 98. Then we're going to the next okay. section. And I'm going I'm to explain it better by pulling up the form. Pull up the SS4. SS4, form. yep. I knew he was going to get ready for that. Well, uh, let me, all right. I got an expert dealing with mine, so I'm going to sit back and let him do it. There you go. It's called the SS4? Mm -hmm. SS4 form. Form, SS4 okay. SS4 form. Yeah. This is how you get EINs, through an SS4 form. SS4 form. All right. There we go. Easy to use. I'm looking at it. I ain't yeah. got mine open yet. Mine's just is that where it says so priority? Is it where it says so individual trust, nonprofit? I, I, I didn't get the right page. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, Beth. Oh, uh, yeah, right. it's a PDF and it says SS4? Yes. In, 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 um, Internal Revenue SS4. I'm still waiting for mine to open up. It, it's all right. It's open now. Took a minute. Now, mine says step by step online application form. Is that it? Hold on. Uh, hold on, Bill. Form, the actual PDF. Oh. It's taking a long time to come up. FBI, CIA. That's what I said. It took a long time. Yes, yes. Looks like they uh, they're working today. Because <laughs> they're listening. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. Uh, wow. All right, mine is beginning to load. And okay. Bam! I got it. Please note, you cannot complete this form on your computer. You cannot complete this form on your computer. Don't worry about completing. If you it, would just reviewing. All right. So we're looking we're at just we're reviewing looking at the, it. Now, yes. now to make sure that you can actually do the form, you can um you can um download it. When you download it you will be able to fill it out. But yes. Nine B. Right? You see nine B? I'm looking at nine A and I'm going down to nine B. I'm looking for Oh, mine. Here we go. Yes, I see it. Okay, right there I see in nine B. You gonna write a foreign country, and this this the state, the address, the state of the foreign country, right? Yes. That's gonna get you a nine A. Now go up to where it says address. Up there. Address. One. Okay. See now, one it has legal name, and then number two it has trade name. Number three, it has who's the responsible person. The responsible person would be your your um, foreign national name, your your bay, your mailing your what? address. You're gonna your 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 national what? name, Jonah John Bay. Okay, okay, I see it. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the now, trade name four, would be the actually would, you. All right, hold up. Number two would be a uh, Sunshine Valley. Yes. Correct. And then number three would yes. be uh, uh, Jonah Bay. And number four yes. uh, is the now, owner. Yes. Yes. Now, what about Jonah? Mm -hmm. I mean, what about now, four? Now, number four, you're going to put care of and you put Amer American address, right? Okay. A P.O. box would work also. Now, I see it, that. It says a P.O. box or whatever, right? 
Yes. Yep. You can use a P.O. box. Now, yep. number five, A and 5B is the yes. real address. That has to be a foreign address, 5A and 5B. Okay. Now, number six is asking you county and state where principal business is located. You have to put the same information that you put down in 5A and 5B on number six. Ooh, wait a minute. Let's go back to 5A. 5A, if different, do not use a P.O. box. So we have to go into exactly. the country. You have to put yeah. You have to put a foreign address there. So let's say uh, Dubai, da, 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 whatever. Yes, yes. Okay. So let's say England, da, 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 whatever. Jamaica, yes. da, 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 whatever. Okay. It has to be a foreign address in 5A and 5B. Correct. And then in number six, you have to put another foreign, at the same foreign address in number six. Mm. Now, number seven, the acts in the name of the responsible party. Once again, that would be Jonah John Beck. Yep. Okay. Now, number seven, Jonah John Bay, if he doesn't have a social uh, EIN yet, you put nothing. You put NA there. But hold on. We're getting too far ahead right now. I want to go back to the IRS manual because it's going to tell you how to fill out the rest of this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The seven A you put you skip with a name of responsible party. That would be your your spiritual I put, name. I, put, I said Jonah John Bay. Okay. Yes. It's your Moorish national name. All right. Now yes. we're gonna go back to the manual. Y'all gotta Ron is used to it. Y'all gotta get used to it. I'm gonna right. have to jump around. Get the yes. whole thing. Yep. It ain't my fault. This is them making me do it. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay, so, so we got to go back. back at that graph. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me get yeah. back. Oh. Okay. There you go. We're back at the graph. And we're, we're in the back middle at... of the graph. In the middle of that graph. Okay. It says, if there is language anywhere on the SS4 form, such as tax treaty, foreign entity, treasury, whatever, election, Regulation. whatever, form 1120F, yep. W8BIN, W8BIN uh, purposes, it says assign them a 9 eight. Yes. Any of that language, anywhere on the form, they're supposed to give you a 98. Okay? Then it yes. says entity checks the box on line 10 for compliance with IRS withholding regulations. Then you get a 98. Right? It tells you all of this stuff. So you have to read the graph, make sure that your SS4 form is complying with the graph. Okay, now these are the instructions under the graph. These are the instructions. It says foreign entities, persons not required to file a U.S. tax return. Now, don't y'all want to be people that don't have to file yep. U.S. tax returns by law? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's find out how to do it. These are the instructions on how to do it. Foreign entities, persons that do not have income effectively connected with the conduct, trade, or business and do not have an office or place of business or fiscal agent or paying agent in the United States are not required to obtain an EIN. However, a foreign entity may need an EIN to comply with the IRS withholding regulations, avoid withholding on portfolio assets, or certain tax treaty benefits in case the taxpayer should complete. In that case, the taxpayer should complete Form SS4 as shown below. Now, of course, y'all want to withhold from the straw man. When you're doing a set-off in discharge, that's a withholding. 
So you want to get a nine eight to be able to do that, right? Yes. So now, now where are you? Where are you reading X. from? Where are you reading from now? Where did you get that? I was reading right up under the graft. It says yes. foreign entities, persons not required. To file yeah. the U.S. tax return. Seven point right? one, Ron. Seven point. Yes, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Seven point one. Yep. Okay. That's where I was wow. reading. Now it yes. says I'm at I'm at A. When completing line seven B of form SS four, the taxpayer should write in A in the block asking for a EIN, ITIN, or SSN unless the tax taxpayer has one. Now you already know. Your foreign national name, your Moorish national name doesn't have an EIN yet, right? Correct, correct. So you're going to put in A. So let's go back to that SS4 form. Take a yes. look at it. Wow. And that was I 7B see it. where they asked 7B. So you're going to put in A there. See yes. That? Not yes. A All right. Yes. Now. Let's go back to the graph. B, on line 10, the taxpayer should check the other box and specify on the line, on the box, following the, the following conditions for W-8 bin purposes only. So let's go to the SS4 form on line 10. 10. Yep. You're going to put for W-8 bin purposes. Okay, so we're going back to uh, SS4 form. Uh huh. Yep. So the purpose is to start a new business, or what's the purpose? Creating a it trust. It said W8 Ben purposes. Whatever that is, that's what you're gonna put in there. Okay, creating a trust. Okay. Yep. So you're gonna check. Right there where it says other W eight band purposes only. Other. Got it? Yes. Now let's go back to the graph. Let's go back to the uh instructions. C. The taxpayer yep. should enter in A on lines eleven through seventeen. Through seventeen. So let's go. Yep, let's go back to the So from 11 on down, no matter what they ask you, you're going to put in A. Yep. 11 through 17 is in A, which only leaves you 18. Has the applicant entity shown on line one ever applied or received the EIN? No. No. And then you sign it. Then you sign it and put your numbers and all that there, and that's the end of the application. Now, you can fax it in, or you can call it in, or you can mail it in. I could yep. tell you it takes forever if you fax it or mail it in. The best thing to do is call them, and you'll get it that day. Now, they're going to try to trick you because this is the damn government, <laughs> right? Yep. Yes. But if you know all the information that you need to know in that graph, that graph, then that's where they're going to be asking you questions from, that graph. Now, don't worry about it if you get on the phone with them the first time they turn you down, the second time they turn you down, the third time they turn you down. You normally get it by the fourth time. <clears throat> and you can apply as many times as you want under the yes, same information. Yes, that damn number. Yes. Keep on doing it till you get that damn number. Now, number two, establishes these entities on a zero file. So you didn't hear it from Jonah Bay said you won't have to pay taxes. This daggone manual tells you that. Yes. Now that's sweet. Now let's re <laughs> let's read that's number sweet. three. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. With that 10, what did you say you put other on the 10, on line 10? Where you, is that the box you checked? Go read. No, I want you, I, I, I'm going to let you answer your own question. Yeah, answer your own question, read. yes. Now, which one read I'm supposed B. to read again? B. 
Read B. Number one, B. I'm trying to find mm-hmm. the grab. I don't know where. Mm-hmm. I both of those here. It's 7.1, B. Yes. Oh, oh we go, We on the graph. Okay, 7.1. Yeah, okay. you got those lines right seven, up under the you. graph. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, I, I see it. Okay. Pacific, I'm sorry. Let's get us. Okay. Read B. Better get a good run. Yeah, see, we got to go back and forth from the I SS4 see. form back to the okay. instruction. So okay. read B for us, please. Uh, on line 10, the taxpayer should check the other box and to testify on the line one of the following conditions for W dash H D E N purpose only for tax treaty. And that's purpose. what you're going to put there. Ah, okay. The you heard treaty. me? That's yes. what you're going to put there. That's the only that's thing that applies purpose. to us is that. I got you. Now, okay. I'm a, let me, let me break down what W eight bin stands for. Okay. These people are they know more about religion than we ever did because they didn't teach us religion for real. They taught us dogma. W yes, they did. Arabic means Allah. Whoa. Whoa. The the letter W in Arabic is Allah. Mm. Okay. Okay? Yes. Now, number eight in Egyptian hieroglyphics is infinity. Turn it on its side. Eight is infinity. Yeah. Yes. So we got Allah's infinite. Now, the word bin in Arabic and in Hebrew means sun. Yes. So the only way to heaven is through what? Allah's infinite son or God's infinite son. And if you're a Christian, through God's Jesus. infinite son, Jesus. That's the only way to get to heaven. And they laying it out right there. Now, you, now, why in the world is the IRS using religious terms? Because they follow it. They've taught us how not to follow the ancient books of our ancestors. Right. They miseducated us. Wow. So you're asking for this. And you're asking to be put on uh, the no foul, no taxes by going through God's infinite son. Help me, somebody. Thank That's you. That's business. <laughs> That's Woo. real deep. Yes, I'm it like, is. And now you understand why in the graph where the, where the EINs, they had that cross. Yes. Yes. Say something else, man. I'm yeah. I'm saying that it is a way for us to get out, but we have to know what we need to know to do it. And, yeah. and what's happening know. is too many of us is teaching that the government is dishonorable when the truth is we just don't know. Correct. Correct. The Jews, they know this stuff, and this is why they – already are in their accounts. Yes. Everyone who knows gets their accounts. We the ones that don't know because they turned us into heathens. Yes, sir. We don't know how to read. We are literate. And those Jew Jewish persons have spiritual names, although they may go by yes. a Christian name, but they all have yes. uh, Jewish names. They, sure they do. have a Jewish name that is for the synagogue that owns all the stuff under the nine eight number. Yes, and they They're build their trust the stuff we under the synagogue. Yes. that's how they control the people yes. because the synagogue it yes. is the biggest and the, and and they check them. Anybody that get out of line, they cut them off. It's the main trust. Everyone's yes, the main. Family trust is under the main trust, which is the synagogue. Yes. What would be our main trust? Well, that I'll leave that. What would be our main trust, or do we I need? Have, you can do it. You can do it as an individual now under your nine eight. But uh, 
Asir is totally right. Like internationally, if you want right. to recognize, you got to go up under more science temple or even yeah. Washington. Yeah. You yes. got to go up under the big family's national national name so that you could be recognized internationally. Yes. But to go in with now, a 98. Just like you, Juan, there is no way. There is no way we're going to come together like that. So what we need to do is establish our own family trust through the 9-8 and then have that enter into our Moorish temple. And then yes. we're unified, but we're not unified, just the way you were talking. Yes. What you were saying was absolutely correct. You just didn't know how to do it. You're right. So there it is. I'm just showing you how. We all uh, going to form as a nation, but we're still going to be individuals. Because you're right. What you eat don't make me shit. I don't care what's going on in your house. I care about what's going on in my house. But if correct. you have a problem, that's when we come together under the Moore Science Temple or the Wachita Nation. And step two, what? The nations of the world to say, we got a problem with this dude. He's not holding up his bargain of the contract. Correct. Wow. That's deep, but it's real. And it's easy once you learn it and see it. But we're so it's far really from easy. it. Yep. Yep. Right. It's our previous teachings, teachings that are getting in the way because it is easy. It's not difficult, but it's difficult to get the garbage out of your brain. We need to be brainwashed. Yes. The correct term of brainwashed. To wash our brains out of all the filth and then put new stuff and then, in. And then put the new stuff in. Yes. Now, you got so many Moorish teachers out there that's teaching erroneous information. What I mean is what they're teaching the people will not help our people. We no. need to get the people the real information that's going to help them. Yes. Like I said... I don't I don't have the right to travel, Ron. I'm on the do not detain list. Whoa. It means that they can't use any municipal laws against me. That Whoa. means they can't they can't mess with me for anything. The only thing they can come after me for if I like I killed someone. Yes. Murder property. Yes. Yes. And you get oh, property man. or murder. That's it. So you want more than just the right to travel. You want all your rights back. All of them, yes. I do mighty know. <laughs> oh, brother it man. We, we didn't even realize how far we were down in the rabbit hole. Say that again, Beth. <laughs> I said we didn't even realize how far we was down in the rabbit hole. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We have to be people of of the creator in order to survive in the rabbit hole. Yeah. And you and I and uh, Jonah, for example, is coming out of the rabbit hole with our own teachings and our own learnings and our own spiritual selves. Right. We're creating a new world. So we are some powerful individuals. And yes, the ancestors it's are the reaching ancestors. down. Wow. Yes. This is Brother the knowledge man. of the ancestors. And it's all within each and every one of us. All we have to do is acknowledge, respect, and love our ancestors, and they'll give you the answers. Yes. Wow. You know, we're going to become better at all of this than the people ruling right now. We're going to become better at it than they, they are because they yeah. only learned it from our ancestors, and they only learned a very small part. Yes. But the ancestors is going to reveal the whole thing to us. We will know how to run government better than they did, the same way our ancestors did, and we will bring peace upon the earth again. The whole world is waiting for us. Waiting for us. I was just getting ready to say, they've been waiting for us for a good while. And we're the only ones that can do it because we in the bosom we're the of the devil. We're the only ones that can do it. We're the wow. only ones that will take this convoluted legal ease and make it simple for people to understand. Yes. And I, you are remarkable with this legal ease, this gobble, gobbledygook. 
you can make it, flip it, and make it's it sound it. just like it's a. Yes, yes, brother. It's a lot of it. I mean, look wow. at this. This manual will make you marvel. Like this is a complicated document, but we gonna make it easy. Yes. Yes. And yes, I've been doing yes. some great things with this this information, and this is just one part. Whew. This is one part. Yeah. Well, this is the be- the not the best part, but this is the beginning part. You must have this in it's order to beginning. move forward. It's the beginning, it's and the you beginning. must get this understand right here, this. Just one of those graphs. One of those graphs. Let us know why we've been losing in court. Yes. You know? Yes. So I'm like, listen, if you don't make yourself foreign, you ain't going to win in court. <laughs> and it ain't because mm. I say it. It's because that's what they said. Now, here's the thing. What you may not know, on that one of the graphs, it says IRC 7701 definitions. If okay. you know, Title 26 is the IRS manual. Yes. So if you look up 26 USC 7701, you'll find the same definitions. Oh. All of this stuff goes together. Oh. Yes. So if you want to know about the IRS, it's Title 26 of the U.S. Code. Well, people that are in the know always say that the IRS is the best friend you could ever have. I like the IRS. Yes. I ain't got no issues with them. Yes. I'm trying to like them, but, no uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to work with them because I know I'm supposed to be there. OID. Yes. Remember when they were that, teaching OID? Well, I did correct. OID about six, seven years ago. And we were supposed to get a check for a million dollars. We didn't get correct. that check. They sent us a frivolous filing. They said we owed three million. Oh, wait a three minute. million, yes. And I'm still yeah. saying uh, the IRS is my friend. I love the IRS. Hmm. I didn't well, know how that. did I didn't? How did I they did do it that? as a domestic trust. I did it as a domestic. I did it wrong because yes, yes, the person yes. who taught me taught me wrong. Yes, I learned yes. what I was supposed to learn. I gave them an instrument, and the and it went away. I balanced the books. It went yes. away, and then it came and then, back. No, it no, it never came back. But how did it's they get to three million? Oh no, no, I was talking about I the one million, and it turned into three million. That's what oh, I was talking that's about. What they do? They mo- three is the magic number with these people. If they if you do something like that, you owe a million. They multiply it by three, threefold. Wow. Everything is yes. threefold. You know, just like G, uh, uh, Peter denied Jesus three times, three times. before the yep. cock crow. That's just yep. how they work it, right? Yes. But let me say this, Ron. After I got rid of that, I've gotten several checks from them. I ain't gonna discuss that over the air, nope. but you know. Nope. No, I understand. I, I, I said I love the IRS. So mm. let me tell you this. When you do an OID, you're not supposed to do bank accounts. You're supposed to keep all the receipts of everything you spend the whole year. And your foreign trust is the one that does the OID on the receipts. Yes, and I'm aware of that. Back. But most people, when they do the the uh, OID, they do the bank account. That's not their bank account. That bank account belongs to Bank of America. The numbers, Whoa. Bank of America created those numbers. Bank of America registered those numbers as the owner. It's not yours. They're so allowing you-, you to use it. So where do you get the numbers from when you balance your books for the Internal Revenue or at the end of the year? Your receipts. Your receipts, the money you spent. Wow. Let me ask you something. Didn't didn't the Treasury 
agreed that they would have to pay the Nationals' bills. Yes, so they did. So you have to give them a receipt. Didn't, didn't you? Ron, you was in the armed service. And yes. when you spent money, didn't you have to hand in the receipts for them to re- reimburse you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And it's not only in the this Army. Is, see, this and is it, what I mean about the brothers be teaching us wrong. Yo, we already know how to do this. We already know how to do it. All you do is hand in your receipts, and they give you your money. Wow. They didn't That's say scary. hand in your bank account. You don't hand in your bank account to get your money back. No, you got to give them the receipt. And if you and Ron, what happens if you lost your receipt? You couldn't get your money back, right? Correct. That's right. Unless you didn't come up with a, some That's kind of scam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you would. You probably would have been thrown in the brig for doing that if you did. <laughs> yes, you're right. You're totally correct. We have gotta mercy. make things simple. They keep on making things complicated. They mm. have a technique. The technique is called divide and conquer. But today we call it conquer. We need to put it all back together and make it simple. All right. All right, listen. Uh we got a lot of uh, callers and uh I want to open okay. up the line for a few questions. Now, I'm going to tell the callers right. that are out there, we want you to give your uh, uh, question, and then you're going to get off the line. So stay on point, and we're going to get many calls in the, at, at, that we can. So we're going to open up the line for 678. I know who this is. This is my son calling in. Uh, Marcus? <laughs> yes. Can you hear me? Yes. And, yes Mark. And what's up, yep. Brother Mark? What's going on, Brother Jonah Bay? What's going on, Dad? Everything's golden, brother. <laughs> we got Beverly. Good, we got Beverly good. D. Oh, we got Beverly on the line, also Beverly D. Yeah. Say hello, greetings, Jonah. greetings, son. Right, right. That's, his name is Marcus. Mark. Yep. What's his name, right. Marcus? Okay, Marcus. Marcus. Yes. Yes. Mark. All Marcus. right. Yep. Now, question to you, real quick. Uh, you've been listening. Is that correct, Mark? Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to yes. go to Can another call. I'm gonna, yeah. okay. Yes. I'm going to leave you open. I'm going to another call. Uh, caller on okay. uh, 763-391. Your line is open. Yeah, thanks, Seven, thanks for letting me in. Uh, you know who this uh, is. Oh, <laughs> Listen, I can't have the family calling in. I, 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 well, this, is, this is what I, I'm, I'm going to get off the line because I'm going to do what you said. Now, I was following along. What I did was, Brother Bay, thanks for this information, by the way. You too, Beth. Great show. Now, this is what I did. I printed up a SS4 form, and as you was reading it off, I'm filling in the blanks. Yes. There you go. Now, that's how, so I know what goes in each blank. And yeah. and I I snatched those charts off and put them on a word file so I could save those. I did the same thing. thing. Yes. So I'm just I giving the, same the thing, audience bro. a way to 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 make this stuff make sense. Now I yep. missed line one, and that I, I got some of the stuff because when I tried to print it, I lost everything I put on the screen. So I, <laughs> that's what they be printing. <laughs> So All right. Now back to, because because when you get Ryan off the phone, he's not gonna remember what you what all this stuff. All this but you gave him good play. You already gave him good play. So I'm, I'm down. Well, you that. already know your brother lives in Georgia, and he said he's gonna come see me. So I'm coming. Right, well, we, we, I, I'm, yes, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this if I have to do it ten times before they give me. A... <laughs> exactly, brother. All right. You know what? Anything that your mind can see, you will achieve. Long as you put your mind on it, it will happen. It will happen. Yes. You're All right. All you have to do is don't give up. Just because don't give up. We, we had a, we had a political you. campaign up here, and a lawyer helped a company do this. They moved their company to Iowa, and they, they automatically became, I mean, not Iowa, Ireland, and they became tax exempt. Yeah. Wow. Yes. And they yes. put this, and they put it, the and they, it was it was part of the campaign. He was running for something, and and then he 
told him that One he took call. his company international and they became tag team champions. If yep. you go all right. and look at the news, they talk about all these companies that expatriated last year. That's yes. what they were doing. Yes, and it made him very upset because that boy that owns Google, yeah. he did it. And they were so mad at him, they didn't know what to do. Yeah. All right, Rory, you got to get off. I got to do uh, one more call, and then we're going to take a break. All right, hold on. Caller on 205-757. Your line is open. Caller? Yes. Uh, can, you, can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes, great, we can. Great, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Brother Mark and, 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 and Sister Beverly, I've been listening to you all for a very long time, and I have learned very much. And this young man, uh, Brother Bay, I appreciate everything that you're saying, and I'm following right along with you all. Yep. Um, well, thank you, I, sis. Yep. Is this, is this uh, a sure, is, is this? Is this call out of Texas? Is this? Uh, no, are you? Sir, this is better. This is better. This is better said. I've asked you several questions before. You know, I recently changed my draw name to Set okay. Ali, and 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 I've legalized it, so it's on yep. paper. Yep. I haven't put it on driver's license. Or I haven't put it on Social Security. Those are still in the straw name, and I was Good. wondering. Yeah, I was because I'm not going to use I'm not going to use my real name on their numbers. Okay. But I was good. wondering how do I do that? <laughs> how do I do okay. that? And uh, with this new year coming in, and we, you're talking about you know our own nation, I want to join the nation you all are going to be in. So all that, right. You know, I want to be part right, of here, that nation. You know. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have him answer. How you he can deal with that, but I want you to be sure and have my email address, and I'll stay in touch with you, and I'll give you the information as we progress. Is that good? Well, I, oh, that is okay. very good. I appreciate uh, that. Thank you. All right, all right, all right, brother Bake. Uh, um, I'll if, answer if you want, that. I'll answer. All right. That. Well, we, all right. well, I have been studying how y'all to do y'all's family trust properly with nine eights and all that. And we're going to keep on going through how to do that. Now, Brother Asir has been studying Noble Drew's Moore's trust, and he uh, got it down packed. So we're getting with him, and we're going to bring – we're going to merge the information together to actually present ourselves the way it's supposed to be as a nation – that belongs to our ancestors' nation. Yes, so there you it, go. It's, it's just as simple as once you have your nine eights and stuff done correctly, you'll have your nine eight trusses join the Moore Science Temple, the correct one. Not All those right. 501 C3s or anything. We're talking about the one that was registered at the county by Noble yes. Ali. We're going to bring y'all All back right. in correctly. Not the way that these dirty Moors been doing it with these fake Moor Science temples that's up on the 501c3. See, that's the reorganization of the Moor Science Temple. Y'all have never been dealing with the real Moor Science Temple. We sure haven't. You're totally correct. Now, listen, we're going to take a break, but I'm going to lay you a question on you. I want to know how do we get a foreign address. You don't have to answer now. But I want to know okay. uh, we'll when we right sell out this. The break. All right, good enough. All we'll right, everybody, right gonna shut down. When I tell y'all, y'all gonna laugh. Gonna All right. Laugh. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So we're gonna take ten minutes, and we'll be right back. All right. All right. Be back in ten minutes. Down. Ten minutes. All right. Uh, All right. Okay. And for uh, those of you that uh, is on. This you can, uh, if you have any calls, when we come back off our 10-minute break, you can call 347-215-8041. That's 347-215-8041 if you have any questions for Jonah Bay. So we shall return. That's on my line. I need for Jonah to repeat the question because I no, we were no, no. You you repeat it. You repeat it, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll jump on you. You repeat it. <laughs> okay. So they'll go. They're gonna whoop you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. So that was 
was some val- valuable information he just gave us. <laughs> All right, go ahead and give it to him. Okay. So Ron asked, what uh, address do we put in the box for uh, when it says our foreign address? And Jonah Bay said for us to go look in our kitchen cabinet or and or pantry and look for any foreign address that's what we have on some of our products. And I said a lot of things I have says made in China and has China uh, address on there. And it can and that can be used. Yes. Exactly. And that's that's, that's un, well. Unbelievable, I guess you could say. Right. Yes. It's simple. Yep. It's real simple. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, All right. if you got some cousins in the Caribbean island, you could use their address. I don't co- I don't care what address you use, as long as it's foreign. Yep. Okay. All right. Now, let me. I'm. I'm. My head is spinning. I'm trying to formulate this question. Now, well, wait a minute. Uh, right. Ryan, well, let me say there. this. We Make it a real address. Wait a minute. It has to be a real address. Yes. All right, wait a minute. Bev, you hold up a minute. Okay. Uh, uh, Jonah Bay, go ahead. Say what you said. I, I said it has to be a real address because the IRS looks it up on their computer to see if it's real. Yes. It has to be okay. a real address. All right. So don't, now, don't Bev, put down one, two, three, Turtle Island. Because they're going to yeah. be like Turtle Island in Fiji, and they're going to be like, well, what's the postal code? I got you. you I, 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 it yeah. got to be a real address. All right. All right. All right. Now, Bev, what was your question? Okay. Now, where's, I'm on the SS4. Uh, form here. Now, do you where say mailing address for four A? Do you put that's where you put it at? I also see five B and five A. That's where you go. That's right, where you put care of your mailing address. Care of your mailing address. Now, five A 5A okay. and five B is where you put the foreign address. I got you. Okay. Now, one thing I have to say is, when you're doing the SS4 form, <clears throat> you must read the form. Read the form completely, yeah. y'all. Some of this stuff is self-explanatory if you would just read it. Yes. Yep. We have been wow. taught by the full education system to skim read everything. We just gloss it. Yeah. We got to stop doing that. We're going to have to read. Take your time. You're not getting a test anymore. You're not sitting in school taking a test, and you only got five minutes to answer. That's not what's going on. You're in your real life now. Take your time and read. They said, the Jews said, the main thing that the goyim do is sign any and everything without reading it. Goyim means lawless one. Yes, I've been to say it's like an idiot. Again. <laughs> yep. Wow. <laughs> we got wow. to read, y'all. Yep. There's no doubt about it. We have to read. All right, we got a couple of calls coming in. Let me take up. Uh, are we okay. ready? Are you ready, uh, uh, Jonah? Okay. 313. All right. I do this every day. Ron, uh, you sound day. like you're a professional at it. Three one three three one eight. Uh, your line is open. Three one three three one eight. Are you there? I'll do it one more time. Three one three three one eight. Are you there? I guess not. Ryan, I have a couple of callers. All right, go ahead while I, I check on the next one. Go ahead, Bev. Okay. Area code 309-369. 309 Hello? Hello? Yes. We hear you. Hello. Hi. Hello, my sister. My name is Rusty Gill. You have to speak up a little bit louder, please. Hi. My name is Rusty Gill. Okay. And what can we do for you, Rusty Gill? 
Okay, you have a question? Well, so this is about North Korea, correct? No. No. Oh, well, We're not talking about North Korea. Yep. All right. Oh, I, May I oh, okay. take your second caller? Okay. Take your second call. Oh, okay. Area code 843-610. Area code eight four three six one zero. Greetings, Bev, Ron, Brother Yuna Bay. Marcus. Greetings, brother. Greetings. Greetings. Um You have a qu- I just, yep. Yes. I want to ask, um, is there a particular paperwork that you have to use, just like um going from say John Brown to John Bay? Okay. Yes. It's called the declaration. It's called yes. the declaration. And all you have to do, listen, believe it or not, I, I'm real, I'm, a, I'm simple folk, so I'm going to tell you how to do this paperwork. You ready? All right. We're ready. I, I take it he's ready. Oh, yeah. I, you yeah, will we'll... put your straw man's name down on the per- paper. I. Da da da, formerly known as whatever your straw man's name, spreads you. Morris National name is da da da, whatever your Morris National name is. Now sign it, get it notarized, and then get the notary authenticated. It's a done deal. And make sure when you put it, you put on it. Declaration of my Moorish nationality is the header. It's the title. Yes. It's done. You don't need a whole bunch of verbiage. A wise man speaks with very few words. All you have to do is proclaim it or declare it. You don't have to write what the United States wrote with their Declaration of Independence. (laughs) All you got to do is say, This is my name. That's it. Okay, you got that, yeah. brother? Oh, I, I, he, uh, now, now, after you get that done, go get a nine eight for it. Go get an EIN for it. Now you can start moving stuff into that name, the property yes. into that name. You could now be driving down the street or traveling down the street with that car in your Moorish national name. You see, that's yes. all that needs to be done. Hey, hey brother you know, Jonah, that the uh, Moorish temples was infiltrated. And they made us do a whole lot of extra shit that don't work. Yes, brother. Wow. Go ahead, brother. I'm, hate, I'm hating on you right now. I want a Bugatti, too. <laughs> well, you got to <laughs> hang on, brother. This is one of my and we got other callers. So, Beth. Okay. Yeah. This is one yes, of brother, my yes. Yep. That's right. Hey, brother, your, your okay. energy is so high out <laughs> in the universe, man. I just went online, and I seen, I mean, I love and appreciate Beth and Dr. Ron. But but when I seen your name on there, I mean, I put little man to sleep, and I said, yo, I'm going to tie myself to this number right here until I get all of this. Yeah, yeah. All, all right. right. Okay, caller. Bless all right, you, caller. brother. Thank, Thank you. Support, all right, man. <laughs> I have a call, uh, 313-839. Okay. Your line is open. Uh, yes, Ron. Okay, go ahead. Yes, Ron. Uh, do you hear me? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, yes, we do. I want to know how to become a Moor, and how do I become a national of a Moor, and how do wow. I get my ID, and how do wow. I become a Moor to a temple? All right. Wow. Stop right there. You stop. Before we – and and – I'm going to cut you off and answer that. That's a long question, but I'm going to give you what you need to deal with that. All right. Here we go. Number one, I want you to take my email address, ronmarchshow at yahoo.com. ronmarchshow at yahoo.com. And send me those questions, and I'll answer each one for you. But right now, Brother Jonah Bay, you want to tap into it briefly on that uh, on those okay, questions? Briefly. Yes. Yes. She didn't hear the last question. Last question asked the same Apparently question. Not. You are going to proclaim it. 
you are going to get a 8 by 14 piece of paper. That's called a legal size paper. Legal, not letter. Regular paper is letter. You want to do it on a legal size paper. And you're going to put my declaration and proclamation of my Moorish nation or my nationality. Right? That's the header. Yes. Then you're going to write what your straw man's name was, and you're going to say my Moorish national spiritual name is, and then you're going to put your Moorish national name on the paper, and you're going to say this is the name that I will go by in all my private matters. Yes. Then sign your name, get it notarized, and authenticate it. Now, when I say authenticate, that means when the notary puts her seals on it, you're going to go and make sure that was a real notary. You're going to get yes. the county to say she was a real notary, and it's done. It's only one, two sentences, and now you are a more. Yes. Now, to be able to put your property in your Moorish national name, it's two things you're going to have to do. One thing is you're going to have to go get a EIN, a 9-8 EIN for it, your Moorish national yes. name. The second thing you're going to do is go do a DBA to say now your name is, your Moorish national name is da-da-da, and you're going to be doing the business of raising fallen humanity. Correct. <laughs> and Correct. you put that on the DBA. So now <laughs> everything that you do in that Moorish national name is religious and it is exempt. Correct taxes. Now, wow. When you want to or uh, when you want to become part of the real Moorish ha- national divine movement, you're gonna have to tie your private Moorish national name trust into the trust that Noble Jewel Ali did on the county level. We're getting with the brother Asir because he's the Amir of that now. And you'll tie that your trust into that trust, and now you're part of a whole nation. Or you can get with Washita. They're already set up, and you get that trust and tie that trust into the Washita's trust. Either one, I, don't, I can't tell you which nation you want to be a part of. But I can tell you that both nations are recognized. Washita is recognized by the UN, and of course, Moors are recognized. Noble Jualee's trust was recognized by the whole world in Havana. Um, Cuba, you see what I'm saying? Yes. I can't tell you which one to be a part of, but you can tie your family trust into that, and now you're you're part of a nation. Yes. Now, All right. Ron will give you more details and help you walk through that because that's what he's all about. I'm about that, but this is his show, so he's going to do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, brother. I got, I got one more call here. Um uh, seven seven three nine seven seven. Your line is open. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. brother Ron, sister Bev, and brother Joe Bay. Thank you. Good evening. Yes. I'm. I am so so pleased to um, have heard heard this this um this grand information uh, since we are in the We Know area. I have a, a question regarding an EIN number mm-hmm. that I acquired in my legal name in 2012 mm-hmm. for a business that I right. uh, started but never really got anything uh, underfoot with it. My question mm-hmm. is, do I dis- disregard this and you, you go You got for... the EIN. Hold on. i got to ask you some questions. You got yes. the EIN but you never incorporated, did your articles, and gave it to the state? I never did anything with it. I just have an EIN, no bank okay, account, no anything. Good. What you're going to do is you're going to look up Form 8832. Okay. It's an IRS Form, 8832, and it's called the Entity Selection Form. And you're going to put that one more time. 8832, and it's called the Entity Selection Form. It okay. is a IRS form. Now, one thing I want to make sure people know, IRS is an agency of the Treasury. So when you're filling out IRS forms, you're really filling out Treasury forms. 
Yep. The IRS mm. works for – they are the accounting firm of the Treasury, right? So okay. now you're going to do 8832, and you're going to select the entity selection. And on that paper, it's going to ask you who's the owner. You're going to put your Moorish national name. It's going to ask okay. you the EIN of the owner. If you don't have a number, you just put NA. If you do have your 98 number, then you put that number down. Now, for you, it's going to be called a late classification. And you're going to check okay. and say, yes, it's a late classification. Read the form. It's self-explanatory, very easy to fill out. When you do that form and send it in, they're going to send you a response. And they're going to tell you that your Moorish national name owns 100% of that corporation. And now that corporation is considered a private foreign corporation once you do that form. Okay. Okay. Thank All you. Right, Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, I, I oh, have I another you. call. You got another call? All right, hold up. Uh, Jonah, go ahead. Yes. You got you heavy have questions coming from your people. Oh, man. Well, hey, they all coming from your people. <laughs> Everybody see your name out there. <laughs> yeah, man. This is beautiful. Uh, yes, I got one more. You have a call, Beverly? Yes, I have one. Okay, wait a minute. I got a, a a question in the chat room. It says, uh, and I hate okay. to do it this way, but somebody told this individual to do a name change with the state for $50. What does this do? Now, it's, that's almost oh, self-explanatory. Oh the problem, yes. Okay, the problem with the name change, I want you to think about regular corporations. Okay. And what they're telling you to do is to change your name from Kentucky Fried Chicken and your new name is going to be KFC. Yes. It doesn't matter. It's the same corporation. In other words, they made you change your straw man's name to a new straw man's name, but it's still just a straw man. Correct. Correct. That is not the way you want to correct your status. You don't correct your status by changing the name. All that did was change the name, and now the new name has the social. Yes. So it becomes your straw man trust. also. Yes. Right. Yes. I could have answered That's that called one. the domestic trust. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Bev, you got a yes. question? Uh, All right. Yes. I got one more, but you go first. Yes. Go okay. Uh, area, area code 586-522. Hello. Thanks. For taking my call I have one easy quick yep. question Since this doesn't take long And since it's time for my straw man To apply for the income tax For the money they already taken Should I wait to after I collect my money Or before <laughs> Do your normal Do man girl Go get your money get your You better get that money baby <laughs> Okay. You should never do anything until you fully understand Under it. You, yes. you don't completely comprehend it yet. Do your normal. You move into these things nice and slow so people okay. don't take advantage of you and also that you could you don't get yourself in no trouble. I'm exactly. never going to tell y'all anything that will ever get you in any type of problem. I right. know. That's why right. I asked you. Right. <laughs> I know that's right. That's well, why you I got to be Before I do this, let me talk about leaving money on the table. Yes. Yeah. Get that money. I know there's no money. There is no money, but damn it, it sure spins like money. You better go get that money. Better go get Thank it. You, right on. Thank you, Carla. Right. Thank you. All right. Now, listen, we're at the top of the hour, Bye. and we're about ready to get cut off. And I want to announce, I'll let you do it, Beth, tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. will be on. All right, yeah. go ahead. Go. Well, uh, he's going to be on the Truth to Power show, and Ron is going to be uh, there with us co-hosting. And we shall have uh, at uh, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a, a seer, tomorrow. Duke of Tears, will be with us. 
All right. Now, I've just been told by my engineer that we're going to replay this program tomorrow at 2 o'clock, okay. 2 o'clock p.m. So all of you listeners out there that heard it and you need other people to get in on it, uh, wire them up tomorrow at 2 p.m. Uh, Detroit time, Eastern Standard. We're going to replay this program. And I want to, at this time, uh, thank you, Brother Jonah Bay. Uh, your information is 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 a gift from the heavens, from the ancestors. There you go. And I really appreciate you. And we're going to do this again. And I'm coming uh, next seconds. week. 90 seconds. 90 seconds. I'm going to be there. Right. I'll call you later and set everything up, okay? All right. All right. All right. Thank you, so, guys. Can't wait to have you. Thank you. All right. All right. So we're going to uh, sign off. And uh, until tomorrow, Beth. All righty. We're out of here. Peace and love. Yes. Talk to you. Peace and okay. love. Yep. Join us tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and uh, we shall continue this conversation. Peace and love.